So the next race up on course is promising to be another extremely exciting one. It was very, very close in Duisburg last week. It is the men's K1 1000 meters. The athletes are all lining up, ready to take their places at the top of the course. And there we have Laszlo Scholti of Hungary out in lane one. Alongside him, Rene Poulsen of Denmark in lane two, the reigning world champion in both K1000 and K1500 meters. Josef Dostal from the Czech Republic, he'll be in lane three. He's the current world silver medalist. So Poulsen and Dostal, plenty of experience battling, out allow, battling it out alongside each other. And as has Max Hoff of Germany in lane six. Alongside Hoff is Marko Tomecevic of Serbia, the bronze medalist in the K2000 at the World Championships last year and the year before as well. Adam van Koverden, despite the boat he's paddling, he does not paddle for Australia. He's the Canadian. He's in lane four. In lane seven, that's Mohamed Ali Mrabit of Tunisia. Won the African Championships earlier this year to qualify a spot for the Olympic Games in Rio. Martin Peters there of Belgium. And they're underway in this A final of the men's K1 1000 meters just look at the power as they absolutely burst out of the blocks and for you Katrin obviously we watched the women's k1 1000 meters a little bit earlier on the their a final do you take a look at the men's racing and try and pick up yeah i think everyone is waiting for the <laughs> thousand meter man it is such an exciting race and you never know what's going to happen because there are so strong athletes there. There is Rene Paulson, there is Josef Dostal, and then Kuvert. I mean, that's a dream of a race. <laughs> this is this could quite easily be, as you say, the yeah. Olympic final, an absolute dream of the race. It's Rene Paulson who has the lead as they come towards the first 250 meter mark with Josef Dostal alongside him. Now check out in lane three. Just nosing himself into the lead, the stroke rate of Josef Dostal in comparison to the stroke rate of Rene Paulsen. Obviously, people paddle differently. You know, Dostal will probably be putting in more power, so it doesn't necessarily mean he's going to win the race, but Dostal just looks so comfortable, doesn't he? Yeah, it looks like... I think I look the same when I'm doing training. <laughs> he just looks so under control. We really... Interesting to see whether he has a real change of pace later. So now just coming up into second place is Max Hoff of Germany with Rene Paulsen of Denmark up there alongside Dostal as well. So they're coming through the 500 meter mark. Max Hoff of Germany looking really strong and this is going to be a very, very close race. Dostal does look in control, but there are plenty of people threatening for that first place. Dostal lifting the stroke rate just slightly now, lengthening it out to just pick up the rhythm. Don't don't rule out Adam Van Koverden of Canada either. Fastest qualifier in a time of 3.31.318. And Max Hoff of Germany is closing that gap from Josef Dostal. Hoff won bronze in Duisburg last week. Now Rene Paulsen took the gold, but Hoff absolutely smashed the semi-finals yesterday, really making a mark and really making himself look like want to watch and I can imagine now you can't you can't put a bet on even now with 250 meters to go you can't put a bet no you can't because everyone knows that Hoff and Paulson have a really strong uh, second 500 meters so I'm looking for what this so coming in to the last 200 meters it's still Dostal who's looking he's coming first with Max Hoff of Germany in second but now Adam van Koverden of Canada He's pushing himself up into third place. He's out there in lane four, but Rene Paulsen of Denmark now is coming back. Paulsen against Van Koveren currently, but also Marko Tomecevic of Serbia. And it's still Dostal in the gold medal position as they come into the Red Boyd area for the last 100 meters. This could still go anyway. Max Hoff looking strong. Dostal lifting his stroke rate. Paulsen now into third. 
are feeling the burn and Joseph Dostal takes a look over his left hand shoulder perhaps he will take a look over his right hand shoulder as well at Rene Paulsen but it will be Dostal who takes first ahead of Max Hoff of Germany with the silver and Rene Paulsen of Denmark in lane three and Catherine, your thoughts on that race that didn't disappoint did it no it was so great to watch in Duisburg it was almost the same and Dostal couldn't make a uh, the, this, he's a lead to the fi uh, finish line and so he's now in Czech, he is in Radzice, he's a local hero here so I think he gave everything to win this race here. Yeah, plenty of noise from the Czech athletes and I guess for, for athletes that are planning their way towards the Olympic Games, these World Cups are about testing your uh, race plan and that sort of thing, is, is that what you would do? Um, yeah. It's um, it's not about uh, everything about the race plan. It's about also your mm. mental strength, strength, and um, you know y the more your race game is is paying off, the more confident you get, and that's everything. So Josef Stostal, as Katrin was saying, fourth in Duisburg last week, now claiming the gold medal in front of the Czech home crowds and it was Max Hoff of Germany the rein, reigning European and European Games champion that took the silver with Rene Poulsen of Denmark claiming the bronze 134.361 the winning time Max Hoff of Germany less than a second behind with Rene Poulsen of Denmark taking third it was Serbia's Marko Tomecevic, who took fourth, with Adam van Koverden of Canada in fifth. Arta Peters of Belgium having a really good year. Still really young paddler. He took sixth. Diane Pajic of Serbia taking seventh. Laszlo Scholti of Hungary in eighth. And Mohamed Ali Mrabit of Tunisia in ninth. And uh, that sums up the men's K1 1,000 metres.